In Indonesia, a sprawling archipelago nation boasts a rich tapestry of cultures and landscapes. At the heart of its economy lies agriculture, deeply intertwined with its history and identity. Agriculture is a way of life for millions, a source of national pride and economic stability. From the verdant rice paddies of Java to the sprawling palm oil plantations of Sumatra, agriculture provides sustenance and livelihoods. Rice, the staple food, holds cultural and economic importance. Indonesia is also a major producer of palm oil, rubber, cocoa, coffee, and spices. This makes it a vital player in global agricultural markets. Imagine a single palm fruit. In its raw form, it holds limited economic value. Now picture that same fruit transformed into cooking oil, biodiesel, and cosmetics. This journey from raw material to value-added product is downstreaming. It means processing raw materials into higher-value goods within the country. This increases export value and revenue for the country and its farmers. It also creates jobs, boosting local economies and improving livelihoods. Finally, it reduces reliance on volatile global commodity prices, ensuring economic resilience. Transforming a vision into reality requires concrete action, and the Indonesian government has stepped up to the plate with a robust framework to support downstreaming initiatives. Recognizing that financial accessibility is often a hurdle for businesses, the government has implemented programs like the People's Business Credit, or KUR, to provide crucial funding. KUR acts as a financial bridge, connecting businesses with the capital they need to invest in processing facilities, upgrade technology, and expand their operations. This program is particularly beneficial for small and medium-sized enterprises, often the backbone of local economies. The government's commitment goes beyond just funding. It has actively promoted the formation of group farming schemes, empowering smallholder farmers to pool their resources, access training, and participate more effectively in the downstreaming process. These government-led initiatives create a more conducive environment for downstreaming to flourish. By providing financial support, fostering collaboration, and encouraging innovation, the government is laying the groundwork for a more robust and globally competitive agricultural sector. Among Indonesia's agricultural treasures, palm oil stands out as a commodity of immense economic significance. As the world's largest producer and exporter of palm oil, Indonesia recognizes the immense potential of this versatile crop to drive economic growth through downstreaming. Palm oil's versatility is remarkable. It's a key ingredient in a wide array of products from cooking oil and margarine to cosmetics, soaps, and even biofuels. This versatility makes it a prime candidate for downstreaming, allowing Indonesia to tap into diverse markets and unlock greater value from its palm oil resources. The government has identified palm oil as a strategic focus for downstreaming, encouraging businesses to invest in the production of higher-value palm oil derivatives. This includes products like biodiesel, a renewable fuel source, specialized cooking oils with higher market prices, and oleochemicals used in various industrial applications. By shifting its focus from exporting crude palm oil to these higher-value products, Indonesia aims to strengthen its position in the global market, generate more revenue, create jobs, and reduce its reliance on raw commodity exports. Section 5. Sustainability. The heart of Indonesia's palm oil industry. As Indonesia ramps up its palm oil downstreaming efforts, it does so with a keen understanding of the environmental responsibility that comes with being a leading producer. The government recognizes that a thriving palm oil industry must go hand in hand with sustainable practices that protect the environment and preserve biodiversity. Indonesia has taken significant strides in promoting sustainable palm oil production. The Indonesian Sustainable Palm Oil or ISPO certification scheme is a mandatory standard for all palm oil producers in the country. It sets clear guidelines for responsible and environmentally friendly practices throughout the supply chain. The ISPO addresses key environmental concerns associated with palm oil production, such as deforestation, habitat loss, and greenhouse gas emissions. It mandates that palm oil plantations are developed on degraded land, minimizing impact on primary forests and peatlands. Furthermore, the ISPO promotes responsible labor practices, ensuring fair wages and safe working conditions for workers in the palm oil industry. By adhering to the ISPO standards, Indonesia aims to produce palm oil in a way that balances economic growth with environmental protection and social responsibility. 
Section 6. Empowering Smallholders, the Key to Inclusive Growth Indonesia's pursuit of agricultural prosperity is not a top-down endeavor, it's a journey that prioritizes inclusivity, recognizing the crucial role of smallholder farmers, the backbone of the agricultural sector. These farmers, often working on small plots of land passed down through generations, are vital to the success of downstreaming initiatives. The government has implemented programs and policies specifically designed to empower smallholder farmers and integrate them into the downstreaming value chain. These initiatives include facilitating access to financing programs like KUR, provide smallholders with the much needed capital to invest in better farming practices, purchase modern equipment and improve their productivity. Promoting cooperative models, group farming schemes encourage smallholders to pool their resources, share knowledge and access training, enabling them to collectively participate in downstreaming activities, providing technical assistance, the government offers training programs to enhance farmers' skills in sustainable farming practices, post-harvest handling, and value-adding processing techniques. By empowering smallholders, Indonesia ensures that the benefits of downstreaming are felt across all levels of society, fostering inclusive growth and reducing poverty in rural communities. Section 7. Beyond Palm Oil – Diversifying for a Stronger Future while palm oil takes center stage in Indonesia's downstreaming strategy, the country is not putting all its eggs in one basket. Recognizing the importance of diversification, the government is actively promoting the downstreaming of other key agricultural commodities, further strengthening its position in the global market. Indonesia is blessed with a rich agricultural landscape, and its downstreaming efforts extend to products like coffee and cocoa. From specialty coffee beans to high-quality cocoa powder, Indonesia is moving up the value chain in these sectors, targeting premium markets with its unique and flavorful offerings. Rubber Beyond exporting raw rubber, Indonesia is exploring the production of rubber-based products like tires, gloves, and industrial components, adding value and creating jobs. Coconut From coconut oil and milk to activated carbon and kuar, coconut fiber products, Indonesia is tapping into the diverse applications of coconuts, creating new revenue streams and reducing waste. By diversifying its downstream product portfolio, Indonesia reduces its vulnerability to price fluctuations in any single commodity market. This strategic approach ensures a more resilient and sustainable agricultural sector for the future. Section 8. Indonesia's Rise, a global leader in value-added agriculture. Indonesia's commitment to downstreaming is not merely about boosting its own economy, it's about stepping onto the global stage as a leading producer of value-added agricultural products. By shifting from a raw material exporter to a hub for processed goods, Indonesia is transforming its image and enhancing its global competitiveness. This transformation brings with it numerous benefits, both domestically and internationally. Increased export earnings, value-added products command higher prices in the global market, boosting Indonesia's foreign exchange earnings and strengthening its trade balance job creation and economic growth. Downstreaming stimulates job growth across various sectors, from manufacturing and logistics to research and development, driving economic growth and improving livelihoods, enhanced global reputation. By embracing sustainable practices and producing high-quality processed goods, Indonesia enhances its reputation as a reliable and responsible agricultural powerhouse. Indonesia's journey towards becoming a global leader in value-added agriculture is a testament to its strategic vision, its commitment to sustainability, and its dedication to empowering its people. Section 9. A Sustainable Future – Balancing Economic Growth and Environmental Responsibility Indonesia charges ahead with its downstreaming ambitions, understanding that economic growth must not come at the expense of the environment. The country recognizes the delicate balance between development and conservation, striving to create a sustainable future. The ISPO certification scheme ensures that palm oil is produced responsibly, minimizing deforestation and protecting biodiversity. Indonesia is actively researching and developing new technologies to improve agricultural efficiency and minimize environmental impact. By balancing economic growth with environmental responsibility, Indonesia sets an example for other nations to follow.